Welcome to Flip Lesson 56 for the 6th grade. And as you look at this lesson today, we're continuing looking at adding and subtracting fractions, which of course means that we need to find common denominators. However, in our last lesson, it was very easy to find that common denominator because the common multiple between the two denominators uh, happened to match. So it was very easy. In the end, we only had to change one fraction. Today, we're going to go about the process of, well, what happens when our denominators are not the same? They don't so easily come together. And so we're looking for common multiples. So, for example, we see 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. 3 times nothing is going to get you 4, just like 4 times nothing is going to get you 3. So instead, we need to find something that is going to be, I can multiply and get something equal. One of the easiest things to do is really just multiply the denominators against themselves, which is exactly what we're going to do today. So, or at least in this problem. So 3 times 4 is going to get me a denominator of 12. Right? So I'm going to get 8 over 12 over here. And on the other side, I'm going to do times 3. So now I have that common denominator of 12. And I also have two fractions that I can add together. You can see how that works. And so I can rewrite the problem. And in the end, common denominator stays the same. And I add to get 11 plus. So you see how that works. Let's try another one. Keep in here. Remember, we're subtracting in the end. Common denominator between 6 and 7. Thinking hard, thinking hard, nothing's popping up. Okay, then just do 6 times 7, right? So on this side, we're going to go 7 times 6, right? Which is going to give us 42 and 35. And then, of course, we're going to go to the other side and multiply by 6, which is going to give us a 42 and 6. And now I can subtract those two ideas. So 35 over 42 minus 6 over 42. Denominator is going to stay the same. 35 minus 6 is going to give me an answer of a point. Right. I'm going to look to see if that fraction is reducible. In this case, it is not. And so we have this fraction. As you work with these fractions, sometimes you're going to see relationships pop up sooner, right? And it's not necessarily going to be multiplying right by each other. I'm going to let you play around with these examples and see how you do with them. And we'll continue talking about this process of adding and subtracting fractions. That's it. Solve it. Alright, that is lesson.